Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to remove apps from the home screen of your Nexus player. Now there are a couple of methods that you can use here, but both will require root access and sideloaded apps. I've got all that stuff covered at the full tutorial though, so if you need to get up to speed, just head to the link in the description below this video. But let's say you don't use the YouTube app on your Nexus player. It's one of the apps that came pre-installed on the device, so it can't be uninstalled. The same goes for Google Play Music, Movies, and Games, and if you don't use any of these services, they just get in the way. So the first method I have for you centers around an app called Hide App, and this is one that's available on the Google Play Store for free. But it's not on the Android TV version of the Play Store, so I've uploaded the APK for you to sideload. You can find the link for this over at the full tutorial, so head over there to grab your copy, then we'll go ahead and get started. Just run the APK with any File Explorer app, then click Install on the pop-up. When that's finished, go ahead and click Open. Now right off the bat, the app should ask for root access, so click Grant on the pop-up. From here, it's a pretty simple interface. Click the Add New button to select the apps that you'd like to hide. Now this basically hides the main activity for any app from the entire Android system. That means that other activities that the app is capable of are still available, but the icon won't show up on your home screen anymore. There are some exceptions to that rule, though. A couple of apps like Netflix or the Play Store simply refuse to be hidden. Nonetheless, go ahead and select all of the apps that you want to hide. Then scroll all the way up to the top and click Save. When you check out your home screen now, there should already be a lot less clutter. But what about those apps that refuse to be hidden? Well, the second method will take care of that for sure. For this part, you'll need a root-enabled file browser. I'll be using Root Explorer myself, but there are many free options that would also do the trick. To get started, head to your device's root directory. From here, head to the system folder, then make sure to mount it as read-write so that you can make changes to the files that it contains. From here, there are two folders that you can look in for an app that came pre-installed on your Nexus player. One is the app folder, and the other is the priv app folder. When you open either of these, you'll find a series of even more folders. Now these file names, for the most part, they actually use the app's common name. So look for any folder name for the app that you're trying to remove, and if you don't see it in the system slash app folder, try again with the system slash priv app folder. Then once you find the app that you're looking to remove, go ahead and back out one level and long click the folder that contains it. From here, select move or cut, depending on your file browser, then simply navigate to any folder on your internal storage. I'm going to use my download folder for example. Just paste the folder that contains the app right in here, and Android won't be able to find it anymore since it's only looking in the system app or system priv app folders. Now after that, you'd have to reboot before any of these changes would take effect, but there's a minor quirk that you should be aware of. If a system app has been updated at any point, you'll also have to remove a second folder to get rid of all traces of it. So head back to the root partition, which of course is the highest folder that you can get to in the folder tree. From here, go to Data, and then App. And again, make sure the folder is mounted as read-write. These are all using the package name for the apps that came pre-installed in your system, not the common name. So it might be a little hard to find the app that you're trying to remove here, but just poke around until you see the icon that you're looking for. And again though, this will only apply if the app has been updated at some point. From here, just long click the folder, and again select Move or Cut. Next, just head to your internal storage partition again, and paste this folder in with the other one. After that, reboot your device, and the app will be completely gone from your system. Obviously use a little discretion when you're doing this because some apps are required by the operating system. Play Store, for example, I would certainly not recommend removing that one. But in the end, you should now have a clutter-free home screen on your Nexus player. For the full breakdown, though, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking!